Welcome back. Water parks have tried to offer a fun way to cool off here in the Coachella Valley, but a few that have opened are now closed. And what happened to one in particular may surprise you. Steve Summerall explains in tonight's Our Desert Past. It has been mentioned at one time that the Cloverleaf Water Park contained the longest enclosed water slide in the country. Yeah, Cloverleaf Water Park, it's amazing. We used to go there. Out there in Thousand Palms, it was five bucks to get in. It opened in 1987 and was operational for only two years. Besides slides, there was a man-made lake and an amphitheater for concert performances. Believe it or not, this is the Cloverleaf Water Park, or where it used to be. It's up Edom Hill on the way to the dump. There are no slides, no water, and the only visitors to this area are occasional jackrabbits and tumbleweeds. This drone footage is really the only way to comprehend how the area used to look. The only downfall about there was just very windy. When you got to the top after you got wet, you know, when the wind blew, you got a little chilly. It was the combination of wind and sand, as well as an ant infestation that discouraged visitors to the park. Families decided that there were better activities that didn't involve subjecting the kids to a blinding sandstorm. Therefore, the visitors left, and this very expensive structure was, over time, buried by the blowing sand. Now, let us go further out west, outside Desert Hot Springs. There's another abandoned structure that used to hold water, although not nearly as much. This is the Nude Bowl, so-called because this structure was originally part of a nudist resort called Desert Gardens Ranch. It's just a bowl. It's a bowl that's about maybe like 10, 11 feet, and it's in the shape of a kidney. Since the late 70s, this abandoned kidney-shaped swimming pool has attracted skateboarding enthusiasts from around the world and an occasional biker or two. There are no paved roads leading to the nude bull, but that hasn't discouraged any visitors. But you can only get there off, like, basically the paved dirt of everybody else who's already gone there. They paved the way for us to get out there. <laughs> During the 90s, the parties surrounding the nude bull were constant. This led to occasional violence. Some complaints about guns and fighting led to the police filling the bull with dirt. Soon after, the skateboarders removed the dirt and repaired the bull. A few months later, the police returned, broke up the concrete, and buried it again. And again, the skateboarders returned, removed the dirt, and repaired the bull. When it comes to skating culture, the nude bull has become so iconic, it's been replicated right here at the Palm Springs Skate Park. The only thing that's really a difference is that it's a little wider, and it's at least maybe like a foot higher. So it's just larger in size, but it's actually the exact same thing. Another abandoned water structure would merge with skate culture one more time during the spring of 2019. Yeah! That's when a small group of professional skateboarders, including skate icon Tony Hawk, would shred their wheels against what used to be Palm Springs' most successful water park. These 18 acres opened in 1986 as the Oasis Water Park. Over the next three decades, it would be rebranded, first as Not Soak City, then Palm Springs Wet and Wild. It closed in 2018, and one year later, the skaters arrived to shoot a nine-minute video for the skater magazine, Thrasher. Oh! Impressing many skating enthusiasts, like Chris Tilley of Palm Springs. I think it's a good idea to repurpose it. Uh -huh. And uh, why let it go to waste, right? You know, it, it, why not have people in there doing that kind of thing? Soon after the skaters' visit, this park would be demolished, therefore designating it a fond memory of our desert past. Steve Sumrall, NBC Palm Springs, News First.